So we're going to do some sort of research experiment that helps evaluate the researcher's assertion. Let's look and see what that assertion is, and then we ought to be able to figure it out. Um, here it is, the hypothesis that exposure to moisture is the key cost key cause of elasticity loss rather than repeated tennis ball impact was asserted by a researcher whose son happens to be a professional tennis player. So the hypothesis is that it is that the cause here is exposure to moisture. So a research experiment should clearly involve exposure to moisture. That would test the hypothesis. So choice A, we have smacking the racket with different stuff. There's no moisture. Uh, B, determine the difference in string elasticity for rackets with different metal alloy frames. No moisture. C, ball elasticity after racket impact. No moisture. Uh, D, determine any changes in string elasticity following water immersions of varying durations. That's moisture, all right. We'll just check E. Compare the optimal string elasticity for a professional tennis player versus that of a novice player. Psh, that's not even a test. Um, so, uh, clearly, answer choice D is uh, testing the effect of moisture on the loss of elasticity on tennis racket strings.